crazy. I don't know if it's nerves or what, but oh, my stomach is in shambles. Oh, okay. Cheers. You don't have no chasers? Woo! No. Oh, yeah. Oh, Asia damped the whole thing. Shit. Oh, hell. No, that's what we were doing. <laughs> I'm nervous. Um, do y'all anybody need uh, more air or y'all good? We good? good. Alright. Lord, please let us be safe tonight. Let us have fun. Oh, hold on. Let me get my license plate out of it. You know you can't track anything the license plate anymore. You can't do phones either. I be trying to look up people's phone numbers and it's like if you don't go in um Zelle and go type Hey y'all, welcome back to another estrogen release video. I am Asia and today's video, y'all, let me start by saying these last two weeks have been a complete ordeal. I made it through, thank God, but it's just been completely here and there, all over the place. Um, but I wanted to document this moment because it's a very unique moment. Um, and even though I wasn't in the right headspace to vlog, I still wanted to make sure that I captured some of it so I can just have this forever. So I got to see Beyonce. And here are some clips from that night. Okay, awesome. Oh, this is the merch line, so stay in Y'all, yeah. it was so hot and I am a sweaty monster so it was just, I felt like I was in a toilet bowl. For some reason I forgot that FedEx was outside. Um, I always knew that but for some reason it just completely went over my head in regards to the concert and y'all, it just, it was hot. It felt like a swamp. And with that many bodies, y'all know I don't like crowds and stuff so with that many bodies, that much body heat, it was just like, they ran out of fans. So I had to pick up this cardboard and, and I had to make do, make it do what it do because I was hot, y'all. I was burning up. So excuse the sweaty clips that you're about to see. into the stadium trying to find our seats I was instantly like smiling and I was looking back at Sydney like yo we got good seats let me give y'all a little backstory when I was getting these tickets I was in the Beehive Club I was in the Beehive Club and so I kind of got first access or first dibs to all like the seats and for the price that we paid I felt like these seats were pretty good and the stage was ginormous we were only like I want to say maybe 20 rows from the floor like to get to the floor like we was actually able to walk down to the floor they wouldn't even let us you know go to the floor for a little bit just to come back up to the other side to get to our seats that's how close we were to the floor so I was kind of like I was already like yo this is about to be amazing because our seats were wow.
keep interrupting this but well I am actually but I was so happy to hear this song as the first song to kick off the show I was just like oh my goodness another backstory I went through a strong Destiny's Child phase and that kind of led to a strong Beyonce phase I want to say they had they all of them had a grip on me from like the age of 10 to maybe 13 14 it was pretty bad and so just hearing these classics is just completely nostalgic for me I was like Ugh. I kept saying 12, I kept thinking to myself, 12 year old Asia would be so shook that she was at a Beyonce concert. It's just, it's mind boggling. A numbers person I love to look at like how much things cost y'all the amount of production stage setup stage lighting everything I just really want to see what this budget was like say the budget was definitely unlimited it just these screens were like I don't even I, I'm not good with you know measuring that type of stuff but the screens were huge the stage again was huge Like it was just so many moving pieces and I'm just like yo how much does all this cost I'm also into afro futurism like and it definitely definitely brought that element to this show I love the feel of going to a different planet same thing with Erica Badu like I just love that feeling like we're no longer here you're taking us to another place and it definitely felt like it was a full-blown ride Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, it was given <laughs> underground, sweaty, 
club like I the amount of sweat it didn't even it was no relief it was no wind it was no and we were legit packed in there like sardines like this one girl had like glitter all over her arms and so by the end of the night I had glitter all over my arms or this side I should say it was just we were it was really hot I can't explain to y'all how hot it was but again it was definitely an experience I also love house music and so the way it was set up, and most of you already know, she had like these uh, periods, I want to say one or two minutes of like videos and like basically just, uh, I don't want to be corny, but a jam session of us just, you know, vibing to the, the music or whatever. And during that time, they were changing their costumes, like... interrupting but y'all see this horse on the stage I can't and my brain couldn't wrap around like is this a physical horse like is this an actual statue or is this a part of the video like is this a 3d element to the video like that's how amazing the graphics were I'm still kind of confused even when I look back at these videos I'm like is that a real like horse like that she integrated the old songs with the newer songs and kind of just made these beautiful medleys especially in between like her more current stuff uh, I'm telling you as an old school fan I'm just like it was just everything that I needed but it was a beautiful beautiful mix and yeah it was really I really appreciated that she brought dangerously in love the album back like come on now signs speechless come on classics Classics! This 
I'm talking about when I say experience. Watching these clips back, I literally get goosebumps because it was such a great time. Like everybody was just vibing. It was a legitimate party. And I, when people ask me like, how was the show? How was the show? I'm like, she's not doing just a concert. You're getting a festival in a show. Like, I can't even explain to y'all how much fun this section was alone. Like, it was just amazing. I, y'all. Y'all. You feel love inside of your soul. Feel love inside of your soul. I want you to remember this night. Remember what you're wearing. Remember who you came here with. Remember the feeling right now. I hope you feel safe. I hope you're released. backed up with extreme talent it's just i can't explain to you guys how amazing the show was it was an experience it was definitely an experience that's how i've been explaining it to everyone it's an experience and she even said at her like her last remarks like i hope you guys you know feel inspired after this and it's like yeah baby i'm definitely inspired just that amount of energy stamina that they have to you know kind of put up with or have to do these shows i was not tracking that this show was three hours long no one I, I i didn't keep up with any of the clips because i wanted to be i haven't out of all the concerts i've been to this year i didn't look at any of the clips because i wanted to fully be like oh oh that was pretty dramatic but i wanted to make sure that i was getting the full shebang like i wanted to be shocked i wanted to be just not know what was coming, in a sense, to a certain degree. Watching the show, I was exhausted. So, imagine having to do that every other night. I, I really don't know how they do it. It's amazing. I think it's a God-given talent to be able to get up there and do that. But y'all, I'm telling you, this is one for the books. And although, <laughs> I think I'm good for concerts, with concerts, for like the next year or two. Um, I say that now, and then Janet Jackson comes back out, and I'm like, I gotta go see her again. But no, I honestly, I feel like this was a great conclusion to my concert era, in a sense, just for a little bit, um, because it was just, it was everything, you know, it was an amazing show. I do, you know, feel extremely blessed to be able to have, you know, the finances to be able to go to all these shows. I was really thankful that I was able to do this this year. So, yeah, with that being said, <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Bye. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.